Welcome back, everybody. So, let's go investigate our uh, former fossiled friend. Oh, I'm pretty sure I know where he heads off to, and I believe we have everything we need to deal with him. That being said, I also have to wonder, why on earth do we even need to go up there? I forget. I forget why we're even... Oh, right, magnifying glass. Yeah, now I remember. Now I remember why we're going there. Literally all of this is just so we can un or de thaw the magnifying glass out of the freezer. I can't believe it. The fossil is just gone. Man, that thing was huge. I thought the breeze from its wings flapping was going to blow me away. You should try the train, dude. I didn't think anyone could be more impressive, or anything could be more impressive than the fossil itself. I was wrong. I'm pretty sure... Mm, maybe one of them gives you a hint on where it goes. Honestly, I... Maybe I need to talk to one of these guys. Mario, you're not going to believe this. The Dragodon fossil came to life and flew away. I'm no professor, but I didn't think fossils could do that. Maybe you should talk to the actual professor about this. Well, I don't really think we actually need to, because we know where it goes. Also, maybe probably should... Wait, did I get any pink stars since, um... I mean, I got tan Tangerino Grills, I guess. Uh, I don't know how many paint stars I really need to, uh, further the side quest. So, I'm just gonna go ahead. Oh, I, it's this way. I need to go this way. I guess the shortcuts are unlocked through playing them. Alright. Now, if I'm correct, we can just head right up here. So Red Pepper Volcano. It's kind of interesting that there is even a vol like this volcano themed area is just kind of here, but it feels like such a throwaway location. It's just like, oh, well, we need to hit the status quo for uh, Mario themes. It's like, oh, this game doesn't have a volcano in it. We need to put a volcano in it because it's a Mario game and all Mario games need a volcano, apparently. I don't know, man. I just feel like this didn't really need to be a place, like... We're really, all we're really doing is doing this so we can get a magnifying glass. Like, bro, there are plenty of other ways we could have gotten that magnifying glass. Right. Dragon! Luckily, I speak a little Dragodon. I haven't used it since college. Dude, you are... How old are you, Huey? I don't think you're getting through, man. Oh, you are not getting through. I think that's bad. We're um, gonna head out now. And hope that this does not end up in a immediate game over because something just hits me at the last minute and I fell in the lava anyway, so we're dead anyway. Cool, that's fine, I guess. Yeah, guys, this is this game is so hard. Your kids are never going to be able to play this. It's just one little mistake, and then you get a ju non-justifiable game over. No, non-justifiable. All right. So let's try that again, I guess. Man, I hate these instant game over scenes. They're just that's such a pain. At least in Thousand Year Door and Super Big Mario, they give you an option to make it an instant game over by making a wrong choice that's clearly obvious not to make. Alright, let's try that again. I'm just worried because I swear that the, the, the uh, debris falling is just going to hit me and I'm going to die anyway. So I felt like falling in lava was just delaying the inevitable or just creating the inevitable, I guess. Right, can't skip either. Bull. That bull. <sighs> Alright, Huey. We get it. Don't... Maybe don't try again, dude. I wonder what part of your sentence was what triggered it.
The fact that we didn't die from that is the big surprise. Okay. Okay, okay I, and I just missed the platform. And, like, this guy is, like, I can't move any faster. Like, this guy's gonna catch me at the rate we're going. Like, he already broke the platform I was standing on by the time I was even on it. Uh, how do I move any faster than this? Where's Yoshi from Thousand Year Door? Where's Carrie from Super Paper Mario? Where's Lacket Lester? Where's anybody that move makes my movement speed faster? All right, Color Splash, you're opening up a few more problems here. Oh, wait, now I have to do this a third time. Am I missing something? Like, I don't think I am. I've never... Oh, okay, maybe, like, on my second playthrough. I feel like I've only, like, messed up on this, like, once or twice before. But, dude. Cut me some slack here, you game. Like, I'd rather be dying because the battles are hard, not because I fumbled up a platforming section. Again, this is why I feel like all the di the difficulty is just in the wrong spots. This game is so anti-combat, you want to wonder why there's even combat in it. All right. at, least, like, at least the scene isn't that long, but at the same time, I still have to go through a, lot, a little bit to get here. Alright, move, move, move. I missed. I missed the platform again. Are you kidding me? How on earth do I keep doing that? Like, I'm not holding the control stick that much. Oh my goodness. That's three game overs from this stupid section. That's not funny. That's not hard. Well, I guess I'm making it look hard. That's for certain. But that's just so cheesy. Like, you're giving me an instant game over from this. And I can't even skip it all. Like, this is honestly just frustrating and annoying. That's not really funny or fun. Like, if I'm dying via battle that I'm not good enough for, that's one thing. But this is a freaking platforming section. Like, this is the kind of frustration I should feel in a 2D Mario game. Not here. Also, why did, why did we need a loading screen for that? Especially considering right after this, there's no loading screen. Okay, just ignore that last bit. It's like, the unnecessary frustration at this point. Okay, this will be the time. I'm going to get through this. I don't care about the dialogue, Huey. Funny thing also, this is 2016 Nintendo. You thought, you would think that they would have had something to hold your hand at this point. Okay. I'm just going to keep an eye on the platforms. That's all I need. Okay, there we go. There we go. Okay, now we got it. Oh, oh. I'm just going to hide here. This should be good. Oh, right, we need to do this. Alright! Okay, well, I guess I didn't need to hide there. I guess I thought maybe he would just breathe and then I can go back safely, but no, that was not the case. He's just gonna charge it up again, eh? Alright, this is where we need that basin we got from Fort Cobalt that I've been holding on to this entire time. Literally for that. Like, literally just drop a giant basin on this thing's head. This game confuses me sometimes. That had to hurt. We were just trying to calm him down. Now I feel guilty. He's really out of it. He's not moving. Like, we revived this thing just to do this to it. Like, this guy probably has regrets coming back to life. Fishing pole, magma burger. Now he's up. Now he's up and going. Yeah, 
There we go. Uh, can we do anything else with this thing? I have a feeling we can't. You know, the only real point is just to get him to go. Oh, hey, there's a... Okay, well, I have a feeling that if we were to do... Okay, we, this one's a purple one. We don't really need that. Let's try going over here. Oh, wait. I wasted seven minutes on that. Oh, there's a small... Yeah, I think I also have a hunch. I know where some of the mini... The, I, okay. This is backtracking all the way to Plum Park. I have a hunch. I know where some of the missing uh, spot, colorless spots are. There were more tiny-ass little bricks. Okay. I'm apparently not strong enough to one-shot a spike top. That's not... That's just kind of... Oh. There are a lot of them here. Okay. Um... Oh, I don't really have much to deal with these guys. Right, I need to go... Okay, let's try a big ice flower. And a regular hurl hammer, just in case. Because there are... Ooh, yeah, there are five of them. Never mind, we're gonna want... I'm gonna want to try two hurl hammers. Anything that deals with multiple opponents. I feel like the ice flower should be able to either kill or do massive damage. Oh, no, it kills. Okay, but I'm still fairly certain one Hurl Hammer is not going to kill that last guy. In fact, I don't even know if two will. Ooh. Okay, yeah, no, we do need the two. Alright, that's good. Oof. Alright, well now I know. Can't kill them. But, at the same time, I also really need some inventory here. Yeah, nope. I need to save this for boss battles. Ooh, burn hammer. That'll be useful. I'm calling it a burn hammer. Oh, lava bubbles. Okay, interesting. Interesting. But, I did just get a nice bar. So this, honestly, if this... Eh, wait, no, th this might do it, actually. Yep, we're good. Honestly, even if the first strike didn't uh, kill, the, like it still throws four, so I would have gotten two of them on both. Spin jump. Oh, uh, what's in here? Hmm. Oh, there's a bit. There's a red paint star over there. I feel like. Oh, what's where does this go? I'm going to assume whatever it is, we're not going to be able to use it because one blank spot's going to... Yep, the whole pipe is colorless. How does that work? What, is there just a blank spot blocking the... Uh... I still don't get it. I, I just don't. This game's this game's going to give me a headache. I'm so glad I'm playing Thousand Year Door alongside this now. Ah, stupid lava bubbles... Yeah, I don't have any ice flowers left, so I'm just going to run. It might take me like two or three tries to run away from one singular lava bubble. Oh, no, we're good. We're good. Two, uh, big, two big e-cameras. Okay. That could theoretically be useful in some capacity. I don't know. Ooh, save block. Oh, I'm going to need this, aren't I? Oh, joy. There's an enemy, and there's streams of lava. Alright. We're not gonna... We're not gonna waste time here. We're gonna do what we need to do, and we're going to leave. Three hop slippers. Yeah, because, like, the two weren't already useless enough. Okay, we're gonna be patient here too. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do anything overly stupid. I don't want to engage in combat. I do not want to get hit by the lava. We're playing this smart. Okay, that might have been a little uh, on the risky side, but we're we're still good. I kind of want these coins. 
Oh, that's okay. I almost thought that that was gonna rise up and like just absolutely eat me. But we're good. It's just gonna go up to here. Once again, we're playing it safe. We're not doing anything stupid. Big ice flower, that'll be useful. All right. I don't want us. I don't want any more problems here. Hmm. What exactly are we dealing with here? Another big ice flower. Nice. Ooh, fire bros. Um. Colorless lava. Sure. Whatever you say, game. This seems really smart. This, this, the hundred. I can't see anything wrong with what we're doing right here, right now. Oops. Yeah, no, this 100% seems safe. Is that gonna do anything? Why on. Oh, fish? Oh my goodness, he... How did he get here? Where does this lava... Ooh, nice. Big, oh, a mega mushroom, okay. Are you... actively trying to tell me that I can't get off there because the lava is colorless. This game is trying to justify some of the dumbest things. Oh, there's a lava bubble. Okay. Oh, and there's four of them. Okay, well, how many big ice, I got two big ice flowers. Okay, yeah, I can, whoop. Oh, I don't have any blue paint left. Hmm. That's actually not good. I don't have enough blue paint. See, this is kind of why I'm thinking that the entire um, paint max, like paint increase system doesn't really do anything. I'm at 360 paint, whatever the heck that means. And I'm still not able to paint this big ice flower in. Okay, I might have to take a shot here. Like, and by shot, I mean, like, I'm going to have to take a hit. Because I need to restore my paint. So I'm going to use one of these 1-Up Mushrooms for the first time in this entire playthrough, as far as I'm concerned. But, again, like, how on earth was I not able to use the, uh, like, seriously? That takes up... Yeah, that takes a lot of paint. Like, what, was I just not able to color lap that before? I still honestly think that there's something really just useless about this whole system. There are still so many flaws, and those flaws are very noticeable. I think it's clear that I'm enjoying this game more for its dialogue and environment, less so for its gameplay. A lava bubble card. Yeah, all of there are... A Lava bubbles flying all over the place. Alright, well, I'm gonna need some more blue paint after this. Luckily, there's a big glob of green paint near that warp pipe. Ooh. Alright, that should be good. Now, once again, watch out for falling lava bubbles from the ceiling, apparently. I don't know why. Yeah. My guys, if I don't even have an, I don't have an, I used up all my blue paint on that one ice flower. I don't have enough to do another one. Yeah, that's what I thought. No, we're, we're not fighting. I'm not indulging in this game's combat system right now. I've already wasted enough time. Mario, stop wasting more time. We're not fighting them. There's, you're not getting anything out of this. Oh, that another one attacked me. 
Run, damn it. I'm not wasting more time painting an ice flower just to beat these guys. Mario, goddamn! Ugh. This is not funny. At least not to me. I don't know about how you guys watching this are feeling, but personally, that's not funny. This episode isn't funny. No laughing. Do not laugh. No laughing allowed. You're not allowed to laugh at this. This is not funny. Um, also, I'm running out of episode time here. So, I'm gonna go... I, I pray that this just leads right to the um, warp pipe that I'm thinking of. Okay, it does. Okay, we'll fix this up. And we'll get the paint star, that mini paint star, and we should be good going from there. This is where we need the bottle opener because uh, this whole thing looks like that, that rock looks like a bottle. Why? Not entirely sure. But I'm less willing to question this over the other things I've been forced to question. Bottle opener. Uh, most of the world building in this game makes absolutely no sense. I think we've uh, kind of figured that out. You know, for something we didn't shake, that thing is uh, waiting to explode. You know what? You should have grabbed the rock and you should have given it a little bit of a shake, Mario. Okay, we cannot enter. We cannot board from here. But thankfully, we fixed the pipe. And there should be absolutely no reason this doesn't work. All right, let's um, let's get out of here. But first, there's also a there's also a toad over here. Don't worry, big guy. We got you. Yeah. <laughs> Either way, I have a lot to think about. Would you mind giving me a ride out of this place? Yeah, let's go, big guy. Um, oh, we have to bring them all the way over here. I thought, like, okay. He's just confused. I'll be telling my grandkids about this day for sure. Number 43, okay. Well, we still got quite a few toads to still search for. Plus, there's that one that's now, um... I know there's that one that we need the magnifying glass for. We're going to need that magnifying glass twice. So once I get this the first time, that's probably what I'm going to do. I'm going to get the toad first. What a way to travel. And that was exhilarating. And look, a mini paint star. All right, why don't you give the poor guy his magma burger? We, he's done enough for us today, yeah. We'll buy another one because we're probably going to need to come back here. Yeah, you deserve it. Just don't try and cook us next time. That was not fun. All right, three larger than usual episodes, but that's fine. I think that's enough color splash for me one day, that's for certain. Tune in next time where we're gonna go and investigate that other bit. Cause you know, we're still hunting red paint stars for whatever reason, even though we've already done the red part. Eh. Oh well. In any case, that'll be it for this episode, and we'll see you guys next time.